In public education, the past 10 years has shown a dramatic shift in the classroom. New practices and the implementation of technology has altered the classroom's focus away from dictation and recording to collaboration and immersion. There has also been a push to develop and highlight conceptual and creative thinking. In order to punctuate this, teachers have been looking to apply more outside resources and technology, designing lessons that will challenge and energize the students. A perfect example of this is a project that some elementary and middle school students took on during the fall, designing and programming Lego Mindstorm. Oh, a computerized and mechanical adaptation to the beloved interlocking block toy that is a staple of most childhood experiences. As soon as I gave them the kits, I mean, they started opening them, organizing them, getting them right together because they were very excited to get to where we are now. And we separated all the colored blocks today because now you're going to start using them. So I want to see, we want to see how they function. So basically we're trying to make a robot move back and forth in a straight line. Okay. Just four. Right now we're just going to make a four. Like this. So, because we've changed the speeding. The basic operation of LEGO Mindstorm is for students to construct the vehicle provided. Then, give it life by utilizing the intuitive software and programming the vehicle to navigate unassisted through a course of challenges. Try to write a program. I want you to start at this point. I want you to use rotation. So when you're writing the program, I want you to use rotations of the wheel to figure out how far it is to go from here to here. I'm gonna put an object on the end that you're not allowed to knock down. You wanna okay. get as close to okay, it as um, possible. Can I, can I borrow a tape measure? <laughs> I want you to try rotations and adjust the duration and the, dif the distances and you can try different speeds. Teamwork, problem solving, and collaboration are essential for each team to complete the challenges. Learning a lot about patience and trial and error. Yeah, that's, that's one of the most important things in this. You need to know exactly how much to, um, to put it, right? You need to know exactly how many rotations. If you're off by one millimeter, you're done. You need to see exactly how much it is. Yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice job. Nice job. So that's that's pretty much as close as you That's get. what I wanted. That's what I wanted you guys to be able to do. Oh, There's so many different ways for them to execute the experiments by changing rotations, changing speed, changing the power. Uh, it really uh, encompasses physics, science, math, uh, everything. The students quickly show an interest in group problem solving, patiently listening, negotiating, and acting upon the best perceived solution to a problem. Let's put something right here and make a curve around like that. So like it has to, it's forced to go around. If, if, if we put an obstacle if, if in the straight middle of that course, uh -huh. the color sensor, if you drive off, like right over here. No, no, don't make it wiggly. Don't, don't make it wiggly. Course. I have an idea. Like, yeah. Wait, maybe the maybe color we center can... won't get Wait, I have that idea. back up, mm -hmm. and it won't follow it again. Because of this sharp, it, yeah, we have like a shoe. Yeah, it's too sharp. Too sharp it, it turns my shoe like it, it's just too like sharp. Okay, yeah. let's, let's have someone remove those. Right, right here. Yeah. I'll like draw a line, and then we can cut it off. And when the desired result is achieved. <laughs> It consequently creates the only negative impact of this project. The students don't want to stop playing. They're, they're self-motivated. I give them a couple ideas to do and then they can expand upon it once they've completed the, the tasks that I've asked and now they can try some things on their own. So they're learning computer programming as well. It was like, it was, it was like, one in, it was like, 
two centimeters we, off. We have to and also, what could you adjust to make it easier to see how far off you are? Um, we need a tie. Based on a review of evident student reactions to this project, it has been quite a success. Let's change the power. Eyes.